Hey guys, Technomentary with the video for you guys. Today we're going to be showing you a couple ways to determine if iPhone is real or fake. So in this video, we're going to be going through a couple methods that you can check. And if any of these methods kind of doesn't go right, then you'll know right off the bat the phone is fake. So whatever you guys are looking to buy, use, or pre-owned devices, these are really important things to check, especially if you're not buying it from the store or you're buying it online, secondhand, or for someone directly. So in this video, we're going to discuss some of those ways to quickly check. And if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news, reviews, and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. As you can see here in my hand, I have an iPhone 10s or the XS here, and we're going to use this as a way to test out some of the ways to check if the phone is real or not. First thing you want to do is with the most Apple devices, they're going to have a serial number attached to it. What we're going to do is take that serial number and then check it against the Apple server on the Apple website to make sure it comes back as the real phone that we're searching up. To do that, simply go into settings. Once you're in the settings, you're going to go to general. And then in general, you're going to see about. And then you're going to take the serial number that you have here. Press and hold here and you're going to have a copy notification pop up. You're going to hit that copy button. And then now you're going to open up your browser like Safari. And then you're going to do a quick Google search for Apple serial number lookup as you see here. And the first site should hit up where it says check your service and support coverage. Apple support. You're going to want to click that. Once you click that, it's going to ask you to enter your serial number. We're going to take that serial number, we're going to paste it in there, and then we're going to put this code in here. And then hit continue. Once you do that, what you're going to notice is the phone should come up. So we're going to verify that whatever the serial number you put in matches here where this is iPhone 10s as I mentioned with iPhone XS and it came back and it's going to tell you if it's a valid purchase date um, if it has any coverage or not but we're not really concerned about that we're concerned to know that the phone indeed comes up the way the serial number is attached on this phone if the serial number doesn't show up or it shows a different device than what you're searching up right off the bat you'll know that is a fake device and you might not want to buy that so method two that you can use so this is a serial number lookup that is probably the most basic way to check another way to check if a phone is real is that you want to open up app store what happens is with fake devices out there especially fake iphones is that they don't have the real app store because App Store is specific to iOS devices. And if it's a fake device, it will take you to some Android or some random Google Play Store. That's not the Apple Store as we have here. So that's another quick way to determine if a phone is real or not. And then what you want to do is actually go ahead and make sure you can sign in to your account here for your iTunes purchases. Next thing you're going to want to do is actually sign into your Apple iCloud account here if you don't have one. It will say sign in and you're going to want to sign in as well. If you can't sign in or it doesn't have an option to sign in, most likely it is a fake phone if it's a newer phone. Next thing you want to check is default apps. So there are a bunch of default apps that come with iPhones. Those devices usually will have App Store like we mentioned. You're going to have FaceTime as your default app. You're going to have Calendar, Photos, of course, Camera. You're going to have your Mail. All of these default ones as you can see here. And then you're going to also have the Utilities one, which you'll see here. There's a Compass, a Measure on some of the newer phones, your Voice Memo, Calculator. Make sure these default apps are there. Next thing you want to check to make sure a phone is real is Siri. So Siri is the voice assistant for pretty much any iOS device. And to turn on Siri on the iOS 14 here, we are going to press the 
side button here and you'll notice Siri logo popped up. If you have an older version of iOS, it's going to come as a black screen. So that's how you can tell Sorry, that you. the phone also is set? real. And you can issue some Siri commands. For example, Siri, what's the weather today? It's currently clear and 48 degrees. As you can see here, it gave us a weather report here in Philly right now. And that's another way to check. The last thing you want to do is that if you have a laptop available, you want to connect this phone to iTunes if it's available to you. What will happen is once you connect it to iTunes, make sure you download iTunes. It should pop up there as well that you have the iPhone there. So those are the tips I wanted to share with you guys on how to determine if iPhone is real or fake. If there's other ways to check, leave them down in the comment section to help everyone else, of course. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.